remember when we installed it this spring? So it hasn't been running for a little while. So today that's the project. We're gonna be troubleshooting that fountain plus two more that are not running. I don't know why they all just quit all of a sudden. We're also gonna be doing some cleaning. Aaron is already messing around, so let's run over and see what's going on. So first of all, you guys, you can tell that this fountain is clearly a different color than when we installed it. Um, because of our hard water, it changes everything, like turns it all really white and crusty. You can see all the hard water build up. Also, if you look in here, this is dried up algae. Lovely. So we're gonna brush all that out and get it all washed out or vacuumed out, I, I don't know yet. Um, and then we've got to deal with the pump. So this was a brand new pump at the beginning of the season. Um, and I'm not sure if it's dead or if it got like messed up with hard water deposits. I'm not real sure. So I think what I'm gonna do is do a little cleaning on this and then get it in some new water and see what happens. I'm really hoping we do not have to replace this pump. So I'm grabbing the shot back really quick because I gotta have something to suck out that dry algae with. Probably need this one. Yeah, okay. Can I get in there? Can you lift this vacuum over to me? Sure. So I don't mess up any of the gara, hopefully. Ooh. All right. So I'm scraping off all the algae first into the kind of the bottom of the bowl. You can see it down in here, like look at this. Blech, gross. So I'm scraping it all off first and then I'll suck it all out with the shot vac. And I just realized, <laughs> I thought I picked up a skinny enough brush but it doesn't reach all the way in there. But it gets in here pretty good. So this is what I do for regular fountain maintenance anyway when I'm doing cleaning. There's really not a great product that I know of that's safe for wildlife that you can use to keep your fountains completely algae free. So what we do a few times a season is we just drain it, scrub it down, hose it out, and then either use a shot vac or just let it drain out the bottom drain hole. And then we just fill them back up with fresh water, which is kind of part of the routine. Won't you sing out your frustration? Just say a word. Keep on staring. probably cleaned it up even better than we did but I think for the rest of the season it's pretty good because we'll be winterizing the fountains here in probably another month and a half and at that point we'll do a really thorough cleaning and we'll try to remember to show you guys that process too okay the fountain pump goes through the gara I gotta figure out where the end of it is just went through your shoes over here Aaron and apparently right there too I think those were your shoes they were not my shoes it's dead. I think you were supposed to do gentle taps. Nah, that's not what we do. I don't know enough about pumps to like really troubleshoot it usually. Um, we can like hit it pretty good. Like we'll hit it with in the, the garden center. We'll hit it with a hammer or a rock and a lot of times it'll kind of like jolt it back to life. Um, but in this case, boy, I think this pump is dead which means we're gonna have to go down to the garden center and get a new one. I think this piece is supposed to come off. Really? Um, I think it comes out, I think it's magnetized, and I think it's called an impeller. Okay, So like the piece we, inside? Yeah, before we say it's actually dead, let's go get some tools and take Try it apart. And see what's in there. Maybe there's something lodged in there. Yeah, it could be. Oh, nice. Ew. <laughs> doesn't look like there's anything that's bad though. That wasn't really bad. No. As in terms of algae. Um, let's get some water though and just rinse it out and see what happens. Okay. I think we've got a dead, a dead pump. Might be right. These are our snacks this morning. Apple? Mixed nuts. Mixed nuts. What'd you just drop? Well, it's already been cracked, so no big did deal. It, did it crack, a, crack, crack a even more? No. <laughs> Good. I don't think it cracked it anymore. Hi. <laughs> Which one do you think we should get? The biggest one. You think the biggest one? That's not the biggest. That's 290. Oh, no, that's sorry. That's 400. Sorry. This looks like about the same size, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. What does the connection look like? I think I'm going to get some adapters and bring them home too, just in case. 
120 bucks. <laughs> yes. Pumps are not cheap. Whoa. This one's only 60. Everybody, watch this video twice. Yeah. And watch the ad all the way through yes. to help us pay for the pump. <laughs> Um, let's take those adapters in. Let's take this in there and see what we got going here. Okay, we are gonna need, though, Erin, this needs to come off because we need a smaller adapter. Okay, so I didn't have to do anything with the tubing that actually runs up through the interior of all of these pieces of the fountain, which makes it a lot easier. So this is the new pump right here. And I just used an adapter that, that screws into the pump and then this tubing fits on top of it. And then right here, this is what will clamp it on. So, there. As a, that's as big as, or as small as it'll go there. Okay, and then this right here is a restrictor, which we did not have to use prior with that other pump, so I'm thinking we probably won't have to use it for this. So now I'm gonna take this cord. Um, this is what plugs up the hole. The cord goes through the hole, and then this uh, stopper goes around the cord and then plugs up the hole down here, keeps the water from running out. So we're gonna feed this one through first, and I have to stick my hand underneath this fountain, and I don't know if there are spiders. Not afraid of spiders, but no, if I can't see them, I'm a little bit more afraid. Ah! <gasps> that is mean. Why would you? Why would you do that? You need to go back inside. I don't want your help anymore. Okay. So see, there's the cord. I just pulled it out from underneath the fountain. So now I'm gonna get rid of all this slack here. Moment of truth, we'll see if this pump is big enough. Oh, I hear it. I do too. That's a good thing. Gotta fill each level first. <laughs> Yay! So you're supposed to redirect water down. Actually, I can do that with the don't mind. So we did get a new topper for this fountain. Henry sent it out to us because they redesigned it. Um, so we, I forgot about it. Um, during this project, but we will put it on when we winterize, so we'll show you that whole process as well. This is so exciting! Oh. Love hearing that noise again. All right guys, so we've got this one all fixed. It's running and sounding beautiful. I love to hear that water noise again. Uh, but now we need to go attend to our normal chores, so I need to do some watering and things like that. And we're gonna go inside and hang out with Benjamin for a little while, feed him some lunch, and then um, we will hopefully get back to our other fountain maintenance later on this afternoon. It's a new day. We ended up only getting the one fountain done the other day just because we had a bunch of other stuff come up, but I'm happy to say that it is still running. So, we did it right. <laughs> apparently we did it right. Um, so let me show you the second one we've got to work on. So this right here is a fountain I just had put in this year, actually not that long ago. When was it? Month ago? Month ago, yeah. In fact, I didn't even take the time to put a proper base down because I was so excited. I just set it right down on the soil and it has kind of settled a little bit down in the front. So that's something we'll have to address probably next spring. But I just want to get it up and running right now. I don't know what happened to it. So I'm going to get in there um, and just start troubleshooting. Nothing. I don't hear the pump or anything. So I think the next thing we'll try is we'll go get another extension cord, run it from the plug-in and see if it's the pump. I'll actually get something too that I can plug in to test if the outlet's working. So we'll check those two things first before we like start tearing the fountain apart. We'll plug in the light and see if it works just to make sure. Yep. So outlet works. So hopefully it's just the extension cord and not the pump because if it's the pump, we're gonna have to go get. Why don't you test the extension cord first before putting a new one in? That is a good idea. No, 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 I mean test the other extension cord. It's the pump. Dang it. Okay. Which is nice because I already have this all hidden underneath mulch and I don't want to have to hide another one. So now I'm going to get in there and see what's going on. And it's been sitting here for like a week or two, not running, so the water's kind of algaed up. Is that on? It is, it's something in there. Maybe you should unplug it first. Ouch! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's that's a good, good day, if that's what is going on here. I think I need something to like pinch that and 
Yeah, you might need a like pair a, of pliers. A pair of pliers or something. So there's the little impeller right there. Uh, okay, let's take a look inside here. Is it like a little bit of hard water deposit, but not bad. I mean, that's not bad at all. Gotta line it up. Okay. Moment of truth. Oh, that's good. That is good. Yeah, it's going. Yes. Okay, this is good. I'm so happy. I did not want to have to go buy another pump. So now I need to reach up in there and hopefully connect the um, piece of tubing that's, you know, running up the fountain. That should do it. That is a good day. So now that we know that the pump works, I wonder if we should just um, let it drain it out real quick and let me give it a brush. Oh, hey, I see movement. All right. Aaron, you should move your legs. <laughs> Why? Because it looked like you were peeing. Like an intense stream of pee. No. <laughs> Put him away. <laughs> he thinks he's so funny. You were the one that said it. <laughs> Let me go get my brush real quick. That looks so much better. So now I'm going to put the stopper back in and we'll fill it back up. It's really pretty back here right now, I think. Yeah, it is. Well, the lighting today is really nice. It looks kind of weird in the camera. I don't know how it's going to look once, you know, we're seeing it off the camera, but it's really pretty overcast. How many days a year do you think it's overcast here? Like truly overcast. 20. Yeah. So this is the last fountain that we have to clean today. Aaron ran inside to get some work done while I just do the cleaning part because that doesn't take two people. And this area has been slightly frustrating for me this year because I was gonna do a whole like redo of this whole area. I was really excited about it, but we have had the worst problem with gophers and they just keep making new mounds in this area. And I thought, you know what? I gotta get that under control before I put new stuff in here because they just make a mess of everything and they eat the roots of plants. I had planted three Amsonias in here last year and they ate the roots out of um, out from under two of them. Uh, so I have one left, kind of. I mean, it was kind of smashed under one of the mounds anyway. So that's the deal with this spot. So for now, at least we'll have hopefully a running fountain so that it's not completely like all wrong in this spot. <laughs> Okay, so it's pretty clean now. It looks a lot better than it did. Uh, but now I need to go find the cork. Maybe that was my problem to begin with. Maybe something came out here and swiped my cork. It's always happening around here. Somebody's swiping my felcos or my corks. It's probably me accidentally throwing them away. I don't know how many pairs of felcos I've actually thrown away in the years that I've been gardening. Probably too many to, well, probably not too many to count, but too many to want to know about because felcos are not cheap. What happens is I have my like my bag of clippings and I set my felcos on top thinking, well, I'm not done with the job, so I'll just set them here and then I'll pick up the felcos and finish up and then go dump my bag. Um, but then maybe like I'll forget that they're there and dump my bag anyway, or Aaron will go dump it for me without knowing the pruners are on top anyway. I think that's how most of my pruners get tossed. That was a complete to rabbit trail. Hopefully we have a cork in here. Okay, if you were a cork, where would you be? Maybe in here? That might work. I got it all cleaned and filled up. Okay. I had to find a new cork for it. it. I know. I just showed them all the gopher oh. mounts. There's five in there. Are you serious? Yeah. We should just rip out this whole area and start fresh. Well, that's kind of the whole thought for this year. And then I just thought we've got to get the gopher situation under control. You know what? It would look really pretty to have a boxwood hedge around here. Huh. Would it be too wet? Can they handle the wet? Uh-huh. Okay, would you mind going over there and plugging it in? It's right okay. at the base of the arbor. You gotta kind of get into that plant a little bit. So that pump is sadly dead. I cannot get it to work. Aaron took it apart. Um, and we still couldn't get it to work. So I'm gonna run out to the barn and see if I've got a spare pump um, from a past project. I doubt that I do. If I don't, I have to run back down to the garden center and get another pump. Ugh. Okay, so here's the problem. This is the pump that I found out in the barn. It's kind of small. 
um, compared to the other one because this is the tube that led up from the old pump up to the um, Hebe piece. So I have to have kind of a large diameter. I think that this is like three quarters of an inch. Um, so I have no adapter to make this little tiny thing uh, big enough. So I am gonna have to head down to the garden center. Okay, so I think I have the proper size pump. This one was way too big. Um, so I'm just gonna set this one aside and it's broken, so we'll be able to throw it away. This is a 290 gallon per hour rather than a 400. And I think it's more appropriately sized. Yeah. There's some connectors in that box in case we need them. Perfect. Oh, I didn't have to use any adapters or anything. I always have this little fear that I'm not gonna ever have the right pieces because I know normally never do. And then it usually makes me have to go to another store and waste more time. Okay. So now I need to feed this cord through the hole and out the back, the back of the fountain. Woo, it's muddy back here. You know, I think that could have been my problem in the beginning. I could never get this fountain to run properly anyway. And I think it's just because I was given the wrong pump. I don't think it has anything to do with the fountain manufacturer. I think I just had the wrong thing. Okay, better down. Much better. Yeah. Okay, so I figured out that we actually didn't have the right setup for her. And there's supposed to be a splitter inside. And one of the tubes is supposed to come out right here so that this bowl fills and then spills, as well as the water coming out here. Uh, and all I have the capability of doing right now is having the water come out the top piece, but that's totally fine for now. We'll get it all set up for next spring the proper way. So anyway guys, that's pretty much it for this fountain maintenance video. Um, I hope it was helpful to those of you who either have a fountain or you've been thinking about it and you weren't sure what it involved. Um, I wish that it was easier. I wish that fountain maintenance, like there was something that you could put in the water that kept it clean that was safe for animals and kids and that kind of thing. But there really isn't that I know of. Um, so we just use a little elbow grease and try to get them clean on a regular basis. I don't clean mine as often as I should. Um, I kind of like the look of a tiny little bit of algae, especially like, I don't know, on some it kind of turns black instead of green and it looks kind of aged. I kind of like that look, but I like the water for the most part to look clear, like in the bowl. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what it took if a fountain, like a, a pump stops, what you need to do, like checking the cords first, the outlets, then messing with the pump, taking it apart, possibly having to replace it in some cases. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Bye.